So all these pumps are designed to put 45 PSI fuel pressure out of the nozzle of the injector. The ultimate fuel pump for normally aspirated engine was the uh, CNT Racing 300 litre per hour pump, followed very closely by the Aeromotive Stealth FB340. Both these pumps are designed to be drop-in replacements. However, in my opinion, you will need to upgrade the wiring because they do draw more amps than the stock fuel pump. For the ultimate turbo fuel pump upgrade, the winner was the uh, Bosch 044 inline 300 litre per hour pump. This was quite a bit ahead of the uh, second place pump. Uh, one thing to note with the 044, you will need an external fuel pot. Uh, it is an inline fuel pump, or you could just wire it inline. Either way, it is not a drop-in replacement fuel pump, and again, you will need to upgrade the wiring to support the amps that this pump requires. And the drop-in replacements, again, CNT Racing 300 litre per hour and the Aeromotive Stealth come in second and third. And the best fuel pump, which is a straight drop-in replacement pump, no, nothing else required. You just take out the old pump, you put in the new pump. The best upgrade is the Wild Road 255 litre per hour. In this case, the GSS 341, 342, 340 series of pumps. You don't need to do anything with these pumps at all. Take that, take out the original one, put this one in, and it's the best. A clear winner. There is no second place. The difference is so big. So if you're interested in how these things were ranked, the ultimate normally aspirated fuel pump, we didn't care about the amps that the, the pump drew, and we didn't care if it was uh, mounted uh, in line or uh, a, a drop-in replacement. So we just looked at the pure power handling capabilities, including uh, zero PSI uh, inlet manifold pressure, i.e. full throttle with no boost, i.e. normally aspirated power. The ultimate turbo, we ignored zero, zero PSI, five PSI and 10 PSI inlet manifold pressure. And again, we didn't care if you needed to change the cabling for the product, and we also didn't care if you needed to uh, mount the fuel pump externally from the tank. And then the stock fuel pump, the ultimate stock replacement fuel pump, we ranked this according to more criteria, obviously horsepower, but we also gave big negative points to any fuel pump that drew more than 12 amps uh, of uh, electricity during its operating range because we want the stock pump we needed to use the the stock wiring so big negative points for big uh, we also ranked these pumps for the best best power handling capability the biggest flow per amp so if you like the most efficient pump and when we take those uh, th those things into consideration the efficiency the current draw and the power handling capability the Walbro head and shoulders above all the other pumps in this test clear winner so guys that's the uh, that's the fuel pump test the original article was done by turbo high tech performance magazine but it's now hosted at uh, super street magazine link in the description so you can see exactly how the tests were carried out um, any notes that they made during the test basically it's a fantastic article uh, it tells you a lot about fuel pumps fuel systems in general the problems that they had in during the test in their recommendations it's just a total gold article if you're interested in fuel pumps and fuel systems and I've also put a link in the video description where you can see the, all the data that they collected from the uh, from the fuel pump tests in one table and I'll put that on a separate website there where everything is uh, compiled together so you can get an idea of all the raw figures Co feel free to copy and paste those figures into an excel spreadsheet make whatever graphs you want if you want to visualize the data that's there so hopefully this video will serve some interest to you uh, if you've made it this far thank you for watching look after yourself and i'll see you again next time